Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. It's here. <laughs> this is the Celebrate America by Steal It Box from Decor Still. So this is their very first celebration box. There is going to be more to come. And as someone who absolutely loves her country, goes all out for anything patriotic, the fact that they chose this holiday to be their first box and the fact that they chose me to share it with you guys is like such a goosebump moment for me. I have probably as many bins of red, white, and blue decor as I do Christmas bins. And you're gonna see that. And if you've followed me in the past, you already know that. So for me, I am very, very excited to open this box. If you were new to decor stills or new to the channel, welcome, we're so glad you're here. This is a home decor box. So they have a like a regular quarterly box. It pops up uh, spring, summer, fall, and winter. They are now adding themed or celebration boxes. Um, I don't know all of the holidays, but I'm gonna find out soon what those are and I'll share those with you. And we're starting with this pop-up box here. Decor Stills is a home interior design decor store. They've been around for forever, but they started the still at boxes, I don't know, a little over a year ago, maybe two years ago, and those have been great. And now we have this box. It is not a recurring subscription, meaning you just buy the box when you want it, and every time that you want it, you come back and buy it. So if you subscribe to my channel here, you'll always be first in the know when they're launching a new box. You can check the spoilers and then order it. Disclaimer, sometimes they do sell out before I can even spoil it. That's not the case here. There are, There is inventory left. I did check with them. This box is $124.99, and I believe shipping is $5 here in the U.S. I did want to say I am very, very impressed with what they did with this box. Everything in this box, including the box itself, is printed and made here in the U.S. by small business artisans. Epic, 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 epic. You have so much heart and soul behind the products that are in here. You normally get seven full-size items in a box. I think that's the same for this one. We're gonna find out. Everything in this box is going to be patriotic themed, meaning you can use it for 4th of July, Memorial Day, Veterans Day. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing one. And I mean, I know all of the items inside were made by small business artisans here in America, but I believe even the box was printed by an American company. Like every ounce of this is money going back into our country. And I absolutely love that. This is full spoiler. So I'm about to show it all to you. We're of course gonna decorate and play some. A sweet note from the curators and the designers of this box and how to share what you got inside, how you're styling your items and more. And then I can see a few things, I can smell wood. There's definitely wood of some sort in here because I can smell it. Okay, let's see how we want to do this. The box is cute, so I want to leave it up here so we can enjoy it. Slowly just start pulling things out. For the record, I know nothing that is in here. Absolutely nothing. I've seen no sneak peeks. I've had no spoilers myself. So everything we pull out is going to be brand new to both of us. Traditionally, when I'm decorating, I go really big on Memorial Day weekend and on July 4th. My birthday is July 7th. So I, and I, this is my favorite one to decorate for. I usually go really, really big. Lots of very literal red, white, and blue. I have t-shirts for seven days a week, all of the things. But what I don't have is anything like this. I have got to find out what this is made of. Let me scan the digital style guide right here on the QR code. Oh, it isn't live yet, <laughs> which makes sense. I'm totally filming this a couple days early to share with you guys. I don't know what type of metal this is. I just know it is metal and it's an eagle and I love it. I mean, I feel like What's gonna be easier? It might be easier to see holding it in front of me. There we go, can you see it better there? It's pretty weighty because of what it's made out of. It can be displayed where front and back are both showing because both sides are gorgeous. And I mean, it's not small, but it's not huge. Like I'm thinking of putting it on a wreath. It would be gorgeous on a wreath. Oh my gosh, somebody stole my real tape measure. So we're gonna use this. 
not exactly what I had in mind. So it looks like it's about eight and a half inches tall for those wondering. The bird itself is about 10 inches and the branch is about 12 inches. So it's a pretty decent size. And I love that you could actually see where the metal was burned, where it was cut, like each part of the design there. Really cool, really unique, and I own nothing like this, which is wonderful. Ooh, okay. So here's some of the wood. Like literally, look, wood. I told you I could smell wood. So there's this guy, which coordinates with this, and this is a set. Here is another one. Hold on. And here is another one. So my mind is like literally spinning. Obviously, you can set these like this. If you're decorating like on like three shelves or two shelves, you could put two in one because there's a good uneven number. I mean, you could stack them as well. Like they're blocks, they're versatile. The string is removable. So let's say you're like, well, I don't want the string on all of them. I really love the way the star looks. I'm gonna slide it off. It's just sliding off. Then you could do something like that, which I think is really cool. The other thing I want to note is the backs are blank. So if you wanted to do like a flag, like something else on the back, then they would be, I mean, they're front and back friendly anyhow, but you could do another design and it would look super, super cute. I love that they are reinstating the metalwork. Metalwork would have never come to mind but it makes so much sense. I love it. And then what do we have here? Oh, yay. So here's the QR code you can scan, but it says Perched Eagle. Celebrate America year round with this beautifully crafted metal eagle. The eagle is perched on a metal stake that can be hammered into a tree. Like this like hammered into a tree, then it will stick straight out and it can go outdoors. Oh my gosh, I didn't know this could get cooler, but it absolutely just got way cooler. That is so cool. I'm so glad this was in here. Your metal artwork is unsealed steel that is laser cut right here in the USA. Metal is a resource that will naturally change color over time. Please use caution while handling as some edges may be sharp. Oh yeah, metal is one of those like wood and leather that gets that like natural patina over time which makes it look so much better. Oh my gosh, I am so, so glad that was in there. I did not realize. Oh, okay, I'm gonna slide this down only because I'm running out of space. All right, I wanna look at this guy. What is this made out of? Oh, it is cloth, I couldn't tell. It's like so perfect, I wondered if it was paper. So we have a banner, very cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pennants on it. Very lightweight. You could wrap it around something. Uh, I obviously, instantly, my mantle comes to play. I love draping from my mantle. So this going across the front of the mantle is great. And then once again, it has my colors, my red, whites, and blues. If you missed it, you need to go back and watch my monthly haul. It released just a couple of days ago. I'll link it up here. It totally has all of my red, white, and blue swimsuits I plan on buying, matching clothes for my kids that are red, white, and blue, matching clothes for Jonathan and I that are red, white, and blue like I go all out and so my house will be fully decorated with red white and blue and our cells will be decorated with red white and blue I want to pull this out then we'll play with these together because this looks like a pillowcase it says on here home of faith family and freedom proudly printed in the USA so that's what's on the front so now I what did, let me grab this one what does this one say Hang up this handmade patriotic banner in any space to show your American pride. Okay, I totally missed that. That was on the front of the banner here. I was like so determined to get inside of it. And then, yes, it's a pillowcase. I love that. And as someone who loves America and loves Jesus, this pillowcase fully encompasses what our family stands for. 
I love it, and I don't know for a fact, but it feels like it could go indoor or outdoor. Let me see if there's a tag inside. It's made out of a canvas-like material that's wonderful. Machine wash cold, line dry. Don't wash with dark colors. Oh, I might be tempted to try to put this out on the covered patio portion of my house. Only because the texture lends a hand to it being outdoors. And if this is outdoors, oh my gosh, those could absolutely go outdoors on a coffee table, a side table, through the center of a table. And this guy could hang on our brick. We have a whole area where normally we put a wreath, but it is wide enough that this could be tacked to the brick and then have a sign or something above it. Oh my gosh, this may be my new patio decor. I probably will, well, I don't know. I don't know, let's look at the rest of the items. I had my mindset for this to go on the mantle, but maybe all of this becomes a patio party. Just like full confession, we had a full hibachi birthday party in July outdoors last year. That's how much we love being outside. You would think in Texas we were crazy, huh? We were good having a good old time. Okay. What else we got in here? Oh, there is a very large item at the bottom of the box. Like it's the size of the box. But before we go there, this feels so weird. If you're wondering what pillowcase to get for this, I will link in the description below the pillowcase that I recommend you purchase. It's really cheap from Amazon. Um, you can go down there and grab that link if you need to. I don't know. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Two, three, four. Oh, really cool. They're slate coasters. They do have feet on the bottom, and every one of these are different. They're four different prints. So here's the second one. Really great raw edges on the slate. I love that. Here's number three, and here's number four. So confession for me, I own these exact slate coasters without anything printed on them. That's how much I love slate coasters. I'm not really into coasters, but they seem to absorb liquids. I don't know what it is. Like normally you put a coaster down and if they're too decorative, it all just, like a tile coaster, it all just pours off the side. And you're like, what's the point? These work and I don't know why. There's probably something I could Google and find out why, but I love, love, love these. Also, if you have a really great like bar area, you could totally thematic out, I would at least, Jonathan would for sure, a America, or as Jonathan says, Merca, themed bar. Like we even have specific, um, not whiskeys, what is, he has like specific, maybe a bourbon, which one can be made outside of the designated area? Like labels that we have that although they're not the best tasting, they look really good in design. Super cute. So the big item's still down there, and I notice there's this. I still haven't even gotten to the big item. Okay, this says, let freedom ring, and there's a little tag. Freedom flowers, celebrate our country with this special edition mix of flower seeds. They will delight the pollinators and trim your table with patriotic vibes. Our grower created this special mix with bright red zinnias, pure white cosmos, and a mealy blue sage just for you right here in the USA. Emma is going to freak out, y'all. You should see my windowsill right now. It's got an orchid, a lily, wandering Jew, several succulents. It's covered in stuff. She's like a planting fanatic right now. And so that's what I'm seeing all over the desk. There's just like little bits of dirt and stuff. And so literally, here I'm just gonna kinda, ooh, 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 maybe not do that. Let me just grab them real quick. If we were outside, it would be fine, but here on my desk, it's not quite working. So they're set like this. There's a whole, whole bunch more in the desk, but this is all I'll pull out. They look like this, and it says, growing instructions, throw seed balls three to six inches apart all over soil, full sun to part shade. And it's all pollinator seeds. Like we have a full butterfly garden. So I'm sure Emma will put some in there. She's gonna wanna put some inside, but I'm wondering if we can throw them out in between our structured garden area 
and where the grass is growing and have them just start filling in. That will be gorgeous. I will do a before and after. I'll show us planting them and we'll set a timeline and then I'll loop back in another video and show them in, I guess, 60 to 90 days what the blooms are doing because she's going to love this. What a good thing to do with your family. A great way to like engage more than just decorating. I'm going to enjoy decorating. My family will back me in it. But my kids are going to love planting plants. Okay, now I got to get the big guy out. So this literally just completes the whole thing I said I was going to do earlier on the patio by putting these things out in the yard, draping the banner, and then I needed something to go above the banner. This right here, this is also what I'm smelling. It smells like fresh stain in wood. It smells so dadgum good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That is beautiful. Simply stated, you literally could prop it up and leave it propped. It does have holes in the back so you can hang it, see on both sides, and you can either put two nails in and hang it, or you can put screws in and put a wire. Remember my wire hanging kit that I recommend everybody have on hand? I'll link that down below as well. Use the wire hanging kit. You could put this as a tray. It does not have to hang at all. It has feet, it sits up off the base, and it can be just like this. I don't know how long it's gonna smell like fresh stain and wood, so I'm tempted to keep it inside because it smells so good, but I really do think that this is gonna be the last piece I need to do a patio, but oh, maybe I'll try a mantle and a patio. It's not very often we get items that are made and can sustain themselves outdoors in a covered area. Although now that I think about it, I've used a lot of the decor still still at box items outdoors and they've done really, really well. Okay. Let's go decorate. Okay guys, I'm gonna do two different areas with our stuff we just got. So I'm not gonna walk you through a complete decorate with me. But what I did wanna show you is the versatility of these items for indoor versus outdoor. So here is everything indoor. We've got our pennant banner right here. Hangs beautifully, no crinkling, no wrinkling. It just went straight up. I added these guys as accents. Something I most definitely do when I'm decorating for patriotic holidays is lots of little elements. I like, really like, more is more during the patriotic holidays. And so, as you can see, I have just sprinkled it throughout. Things like this are great because you can decorate with these base staple pieces, and this can be for Veterans Day, this can be Memorial Day, and then you can pick up little elements from different places. I think this came from another subscription box, to be real honest, and pop them in to define. So what I recommend you do is get your main pieces settled. Get these items in place. Take a picture and then rotate these little elements that change it from Memorial Day to Veterans Day to Ju July 4th. And I mean, really, there's no right or wrong way to do it. My kids love these little gnomes, so I try to sprinkle those in. I have the coasters over here, but honestly, I could just put the coasters right here on the coffee table. Take away these two little stars. I do think I'm going to put the eagle outside, although I thought he looked really cool up against that sign. Take this down, put these two over here, and we've got a whole new look. It is, there's just no wrong way to do it. So I want to encourage you just to put it up, play with it, sprinkle some here, sprinkle some over there, and don't be afraid to mix it up over and over and over. Okay, I wanna take all of these items outside, because in particular, I think like, these elements are gonna look super cute due to the textures outdoors, and of course, the eagle. I'm gonna get Jonathan to help me hang the eagle.
and me long time ago And we were teens with tremendous dreams Always playing king and queen We had so Okay, that was such a quick run through, but quite honestly, I'm trying to get this video out to you guys super super fast, but I have to say I'm ready to decorate. It is, what, the 5th? When can we start decorating for Memorial Day weekend? Because I'm like ready right now. I do have decor stills fall coming. I don't have dates on that yet, but subscribe so you don't miss that. I do have a full Memorial Day red, white, and blue over the top video coming. We'll do 4th of July. We've still got summer boxes trickling out from other home decor subscriptions. We have late spring, early summer fashion hitting. There's actually quite a few really cool things hitting the channel. So if you have not already, please subscribe. Uh, decor stills, congratulations on your very first celebration box. We can't wait to see how they develop over the year and definitely can't wait to celebrate with you. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all.